Hmm. Let's start. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that was one. Oh. It's much better. I would like to work here and to be staff member here. So you both are affiliated with medicine, right? Yes. Exactly. Yes. So how do you feel about coming to this Korean hospital? Very excited. Very excited to see what's... What was your major again? I'm an acupuncturist. I'm a neurosurgeon specialized in spine surgery. Wow. So you have to be very delicate when you do the surgery. Exactly. Right? Have you ever been to the hospital of your parents? Yes, as a, as a child, I had to go to work with him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Someone had to take care of me and then I had to sit in the room and had to, uh, the, all the nurses play with me. I think it's more positive vibes. Because it can be a little bit draining when you go to the doctor, like a little bit stressful. Yes. Yes, of course. If they come to me as a nurse surgeon, there are difficult issues to lower the stress level. I have like this relaxing music on the background. Micah, I'm very excited to wonder how the treatment is. Maybe it's totally different from Belgium. I don't know. Yeah, me too. Because uh, they also do acupuncture here in the Oriental Clinic. I think it's yeah different. I heard they only use four needles. I don't oh, know. How many do you use? Minimum is nine. Some Sometimes 11, 13. It depends if you have to, what uh, treatment you have to give. I don't know how the, how the Korean acupuncture is going to be. So I'm very, very curious. I wonder how big the needle is going to be. Oh, do they yeah. have this small? Oh, the, the tiny needles or bigger needles or I'm, I'm excited. Very, I'm very, You're excited. I'm very, very, very Are you guys curious. Excited? Yes, really excited. Yeah. Really excited. <laughs> the conditions. Yeah. They're taking my pulse. I just do it with my fingers, and they have like um, electronic. That is very, very interesting. <laughs> oh, that's really strange. It's very that nice. Strange. It's very nice. Very, very good. It's more objective. We don't have that in, in Belgium. Life plus. Huh? This is really, really interesting. I should do it like this. This is more precise. It's more precise, yes. Very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Try. <laughs> <laughs> pain is the lower back. Ah, okay. After consultation, I show the machine. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm very interested. Okay. I uh, do general treatment and for like yes. decompression machine. Yes, okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> to, your, you know. yeah. I think this is oh. is gout. I think arthritis. Mm. Wait, when does it occur? Three days ago. Wow. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> good idea. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, It's not painful, Lawrence? No. Oh, very good. Oh, wow. It was really fast. Maybe we can uh, introduce it in our clinic. Blood cupping or? Yeah, wet, wet, wet cupping. It's painful, Elke? No. Is it like at home? No. Another feeling? Yeah. I do it by hand. Do do or fire. Does it like take longer then? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, it's not like boop, boop, boop. No, no, no. Is that moxa? Yeah, this is electrical moxibution. Electri electrical moxibution. Fantastic. Electrical moxibution. Technology yes, very uh, advanced. Very advanced, yeah. The technology is very advanced. Sophisticated technology to treat a human being. Like with air, I think. So it goes very, very fast. In Belgium, I do it by hand, just like this. So it takes longer time. Also, the moxibution, it's with uh, fire normally and it gives smokes and it smells very bad. So this is, yeah, it's very nice. It's much better. I have never seen that. Oh, really? <laughs> we can learn a lot about the Korean acupuncture. It's new technology in uh, Asian medicine. Okay, your, your tongue. <laughs> I, have no, I have no hypertension. I'm, yeah. I have no anaphylactic shock. Yeah. Vicky, I got cryotherapy. No? Cryotherapy, yeah. It's too cold. Okay. Is it cold? It's okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very acceptable. Uh, we do also injections for uh, back pain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Vicky, come here. Ze heeft gezegd toilet. Oh, it's impressive. Okay. It's with the bee. It's not so painful, but it's okay. Very acceptable. Are you okay? I'm very fine, Dr. Go. Acupuncture. Maybe you have international students. They're coming here to learn from you. Ah, no. No? Gaan ze hap niet daar. Heeft eerst cryotherapie gedaan met bijen substraat. Cupping gedaan met no pain and no stress. 
Okay. That's what we like. Yeah. <laughs> I was always scared that it was painful, but seeing your reaction, it seems like it's, it's very relaxing. It's very relaxing for the mind and the body, for both. I know uh, the treatment because my wife is an acupuncturist. Oh. Actually, I would like to work here in this clinic. I would like to come and work here. You can ask if they are looking for staff. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can ask yeah, to be staff member here. Just come and try for a, like a month or so, learn yeah, new uh, things. Uh, the, and you, the, it's like... Uh, you're never too old to learn, eh? I would really like to learn the Korean um, acupuncture. Relax. Uh -huh. Because you are very... <laughs> you're now. Well, it's strong. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Are you okay? Yes. Oh. Oh, that, that feels very good. The laser machine is going off. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Uh, if it's too strong, just tell me. No, no, it's okay. Then I grab your elbow and pelvis to stretch your right spine. Okay, and good. Just take breathing. And just breathe that way. Oh, okay. okay. You heard the pop sound? Yes, I heard okay. it. <laughs> Left side. I have a curve. Tilt it. Yeah, little. Yes. Take breathing. And breathe up. Two, one, two, three. Yeah, that was one. Okay, this is your shortened your gluteus mm. muscle. The gluteus is short. Yeah. I have to do more stretching. Yeah. Figure four stretch. Yeah. Mm. You need this one. Yeah, I need this one. Yeah, just move your thighs. Mm -hmm. How does it get? I feel excellent. Yeah. Is, it, is it painful? No, right. no, no. Yeah, it's not this painful. Is, this is right. Uh, version of tuna treatment. That's a tuna. Yeah. Uh, very, very okay. good. A stretching. Yeah, stretch it, twist it, and stretch it. Okay. okay. I've never seen, never seen a machine like this. <laughs> if uh, any uncomfortable thing? Yes. I'll press this button. The red one is yeah, the one. escape button. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. But... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's like a roller coaster. It's a lot roller coaster <laughs> lying down. How does it feel? It feels excellent. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I like a massage. Yes, yeah, like a massage thing on my gluteus. Uh -huh. Oh, that feels so nice. It's like it's like you're an astronaut. You're training to go to space. Yes, yes. Spine mobilization decompression. Yes, and how, how does it feel, Vicky? It feels very special. It feels like uh, you're floating in the air. I think the main object of this machine is to decompress in the disc. Yes. To release the, the pressure on the, on the nerve. Ah. I think it's very interesting because many patients have problems with their spine. 80% of the general population will have uh, back problems. Instead of operations or doing uh, injections, I think this is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. First it was the lateral flexion. It went from the left to the right and now it's like longer. Okay, it's a de distraction. Distraction. Interesting. De de yeah, it's a decompression machine. Have you ever seen that before? No, 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 no. Me neither. Wonderful. Now it's stretching again. Shin Wa Medical. 10 centimeters longer. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, how was the treatment? Relaxing. Interesting and also new elements because conventionally I saw different things I never saw before. So that's very eye-opening for me. What did you see that you didn't like, see? Like the treatment of my problem here. B injections, they did cupping, acupuncture, and normally in Belgium they just give some medicine. This was very interesting for me. Half an hour further and now it's less red. It's all, all red. Nope. It works like fast. <laughs> very fast and no pain. And also what was interesting for me was machine for the spinal decompression. So maybe it's interesting to introduce that machine in our uh, clinic. Because you also don't have it, right? No, no, we don't have it. I thought the oriental medicine would be less modern like this. So I was very surprised that it was so modern. That in Korea there's more technology? Yeah, it's more, yes. The old knowledge with new technology mixed together. It's a clash with the, the traditional and the modern. They put it together and I think it's very, very special. And also to hear that they have a, a lot of locations also. It's common practice yes, here. Yes, common practice in Korea. It's like obscure. They, yeah, they call it alternative in Belgium. Here it's complementary. Oh. You have to go to a specific city to get acupuncture. 
culture. It's becoming more popular, yeah. but only few. We can learn from uh, South Korea. Yeah. Also special because when we were in front of the building, there was commercial for food. So I thought first it was a restaurant. We went inside the building and then it was a whole clinic. Yeah, it was a surprise. And I was impressed by Dr. Go. He went to Bruges. When he was in university, he told me he did tour in Europe. Martin, I heard that you came to Belgium when you were I came in to Belgium in 1976. Yesterday, Mika, we went to the orphanage and I realized I'm probably two years younger. Two years younger? <laughs> yes, yes. Because they told me about... The age uh, difference. The birthday in Korean is different from uh, the Western counting. But I was surprised how professional, even though we didn't make a reservation, they um, welcomed us like king. It's like they were waiting for 48 years. They're like, back. finally! Yeah, finally, he's back. back. Yeah, that was very strange. So I said, what's your name? Martin Whistles from Belgium. That is my birthday. After 10 minutes, they came with the, the file from 1975. You can, wow. With all the, where I came from, where, what was the situation, characteristics. So that was, how you say, emotional and interesting. Yeah, it must have been a very... Yes, also my children were there and they, they said, hey, they couldn't believe that thousand miles away from where we live, there is a file about you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine. Do you have any um, memories? Yeah. Of course, of course. I have some memories like to brush your teeth. It's not with pasta, but with my finger, with salt. And also I remember there was one place where we sleep and eat. It's one universal place. So they would put the table and yes. then after eating... Put the table away and then also, and the, also where they sleep. When I enter a home, I, I do off my shoes. And I also do in Belgium. Oh, really? It's like, it's my, in my DNA. Mm. To take off your shoes, to share the foods. It's like when we have dinner together, I was, oh, can I try this? And I realized when I watched how Korean people eat, they, they share the foods with small dishes. So that's more Korean. I, I, I lived here for more than set, oh, six years and a half. So those habits are still in you, I think. Do you remember anything of the Korean language? No, uh, but no? I recognize the sounds. But what I recognized was the smell of the food about the kimchi. When you <laughs> smell the food, it gives you some emotional things. But do you still uh, eat kimchi at home in Belgium? Yes. Uh, we try it. We, we try, try it. to, we, we try. but uh, that's not a kimchi like in Korea. No. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> we try to buy it like in a pot. We tried it, but the but taste... But you've made it yourself. Yes, yes. That, but the taste was not good. And then I tried it. I look up the recipe and I try to make it myself. But now that we're in Korea, and we tried it here. It's not it's gonna be the bad. same. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's much, much, much pickle, better here. Pickles, I like very well. Oh, the much pickles. pickles. Yes. So after yesterday, I feel more Korean. Oh. And I'm very proud to be Korean. You're proud to be Korean. Because when I came to Belgium, I think for many years, I suppressed to be, I was more Flemish. Mm. Also due to my children, they're more aware of to be Korean. Especially very, Lawrence, eh? It's very emotionally, very, um, I'm an ambassador for Korea in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> now you can be like, hello, hello. I'm Mr. Cho, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Korea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I do like this. I knew from the past was the summers were very hot and the winters were very cold. It's still the, it's even worse now. Yeah. It's still the same. That's all I can remember. Oh, then we should we should come back in winter time then and yes. see like all the palaces with the snow. It's probably very like magic, oh, yeah. magical. Yeah. I think like the spring. We're next to the Han River. Yes. And they have like a festival where you can watch the cherry blossoms. Oh, oh, oh okay. Wow. Like if you thought about Seoul before coming, did you think it would look like this? No, no, no. I'm more traditional. I'm impressed about the infrastructure. When we uh, walked through the Hanok village, he remembered. He was like very silent and then he remembered like, I have the feeling I, I lived here. Uh, or like or like no. in houses like this. House like that, with the windows like. I was in orphanage only for one year. And before I was raised by my grandmother and grandfather in Seoul or uh, Suwon, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't feel like you're 24 million people. Right? No, 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 no. And also when we have a situation on the road, they're very helpful to, to ask us, can I help you? Yeah. That's also, and we had also a situation with, uh, with my daughter, she lost her wallet 
In a taxi. Uh, in a taxi, a taxi. A Uber taxi, and three, no, I was upset. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> because our ID and everything was there. And three hours after, the policeman brought back to the hotel, hotel. Wow. Which, which is in, impossible. Impossible in Europe. Belgium, Belgium. Yeah, yeah, no, no, would no. never happen, it's no, gone forever. No. Yeah, going back? back? Yeah, yeah. And everything's still there. Still there. Yeah. Yeah. They're very honest uh, in yeah. Korea. I think Korean people, we met, they're open-minded to us. Yeah. And yesterday we went to the DPP. Zaha Hadid. Zaha. And and she also made a building that's in Antwerp, in our country. The world is small. It's all connected. We're talking with you about the Korean beauty. I, I think Koreans uh, are natural. The, the skin is naturally more beautiful than European skin. I think it's in the DNA. Different food. They eat a lot of uh, side dishes. More Mediterranean food. Also what we saw uh, in the restaurant, when you sit down, first thing they bring is water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Water everywhere. Yes, mul juiceo. Mul juiceo. Mul Also comes very quickly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, don't yeah, have to wait everywhere. a long time. And that's also something in Europe that he has. Uh, probably Korean too. Everything has to go fast. Fast, yeah. Hence yeah. we go fast, fast, fast always. And also when we go to a restaurant and it takes too long before the food comes, he gets hangry. Where's where's my food? <laughs> Common habits when you're young, or it's in your DNA, or is it you say education or? Uh, I don't know, but I'm thinking about things I learned in Belgium, the things I know in Belgium. Like my, my mindset has totally changed because I can see how other people live in a different culture. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we travel a lot to learn, also to relax and to discover, but also to learn. When you travel, you learn a lot about different habits, different ideas. So what is the thing you have learned the most during your trip? In the respect. Yeah, respect. The respect for people and like leaving the stuff alone and like, yeah. And they always bow and yeah. I hand everything with, with two, two hands. hands. Yeah. Not pointing or... Yeah, I'm pointing to the hands. The they told me, I don't know if it's true, the highest profession in Korea is teacher. Education is the most important thing oh, yes. in society. In society, yes. because you spend many hours with your teacher. In Belgium, after World War II, it was also profession was like doctor, the priest, and also the, the teacher. But afterwards, the level became less degraded. Education in Korea, what I... The teacher should be, have the most respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you should be yeah. respectful towards Because they, they make the new generation. But not only the teachers, just the elderly. So the elderly, yeah. yes. Yes, yes. As you can see in the metro, there was different area where they can sit also. Mm. Huh? I hope they will continue that tradition. I hope they can bring it this Korean attitude of respect Belgium to Europe. Yeah. That would be nice. Do you think it's possible? <laughs> I don't know. If you become minister? <laughs> so I can say it's a safe, interesting and very exciting uh, country to visit. Not because I'm Korean, but because I travel a lot for my work and also for with my family. I think this is one of the most interesting and inspiring trips I've ever made. Oh, I'm getting emotional! Good <laughs> ambassador. It's from my heart, eh? it's not, uh, I'm not lying. <laughs>